guys I'm gonna do my intro now I forgot to do one before but anyway I turned around for no kidding for three seconds and I heard this commotion and I looked over and seen him on the car so you'll see it the ring picked it up but anyway monkey and I went over, went and got something today so it's pretty cool That sounds like a fucking challenge. It is a damn challenge there. It better be fixed. Let me go get this camera. Oh, it's not that bad. A little polishing. Okay. It's smaller than mine. That's a real John Deere though, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. That's like the old one I had. I think mine was bigger than this one though. Here's the surprise. Oh my friggin' god. They had a field day. I hope they didn't come with it. Oh my god. That's why she didn't care. Well, she don't know anything, but she didn't even know it was there. She said, come and get it. She said, uh, if anybody says anything. Anything dead in there? Farmer Supply. This is from Michigan. Wow. <laughs> Escanaba. 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 From Michigan. Okay. All right. Well, I had you stop me here because I want to hose all that out of there. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's wow. going to take some doing. You'll have to get my car out for me. 
All right, I don't want to get you much closer because of that water, but maybe that'll you get some idea of what I'm doing here. Okay, I got mama talking smack. What'd you say? You give me till when? September. September. To have it running good enough to be racing down this road. You mean good enough to whip your ass in September? Oh, no, you ain't gonna whip my ass. I'm whipping your ass. Yeah, well, this time I got a twin cylinder, too. And I'm really gonna whip your ass if that thing stays in my yard. Men. Men, I have more junk. That's not junk. It is too junk. It doesn't run. It looks like shit. It has tires that are flatter than mine. That doesn't run. It looks like shit. No, it does not look like shit. All it does not need a bath. Well, that's all my John Deere needs. For real. I give you till September. Let's see how good you are. That gives you time to buy the parts you need. It gives you time to figure out what's wrong with it. So are you thinking that tomorrow you're not going to hear that thing run? Probably not. Really? Well, as long as the rest didn't chew into anything expensive, it'll be running tomorrow. Uh-huh. And nothing better be off of my John Deere to be put on that John Deere. Ain't nothing on your John Deere will fit on my John Deere. Good. <laughs> What? You got two freaking lawnmowers now. Well, three, really. Yeah. No, four. You got that thing back there that don't run That's either. three. No, I'm talking about the push mower, too. Oh, I keep forgetting about that thing. Yeah, you got it sitting back there, too. I unloaded it and never did anything with it. That's right, you did. Okay. All right. Touche, okay. but it will be running. How long, how, how long does it have to run? Long enough to race down this road. So do, if tomorrow, if I get it to run for 10 seconds and quit, does that count as I got it running? After no. saying 20 years. No, because then you're going to park it and that'll be the end of it. We'll see. Ah. They've got to go up for sale because it's running so it can cut somebody's grass. Or not. Really? Or it might be. And or you can get rid of that one and yeah. keep that one. Yeah, that was, the, that was the thing. So you're saying you like John Deere better than your orange one back there if you keep this one over that one? No, I'm saying they're both shit. <laughs> but the John Deere is an older one. It's full frame, so it is better than one back there. But That's an antique, I believe. Probably. It? Yeah. Because I, I used think to he have said, one like that. well, before he died, he said, well, I got, because he said that I could have, because he was looking for a new tractor. Uh huh. And he said, I can have that Sears once he, once he gets a new tractor. I said, oh, that's cool. But he said, I have another one. There's a shed out back. He said, I know it's been there 20 years or better, he said. Mm -hmm. You know how he talked, 20 years or better. Right. He said, you can come over and get that one too. I said, well, I can't do it this weekend. He said, well, come over next week and get it. Mm. Well, he passed away on Monday, so. Yeah. So. All right, well, we'll see. We'll see. Tell your mom I said hi. I will. All right. Ah. Okay, guys, so I set this on the battery charger. I doubt if that battery will ever do anything, but I got to looking and the plug wire was off and that's what I see down in there. No plug. It is a single cylinder. I was messing with Monkey and told her I got a twin cylinder now, but I don't. But So I sprayed some of that down in. Oh, about 30 minutes. Uh, that's a bad sign. I mean, the hood was down and it was in a it was in a shed but you guys seen all that stuff so i don't know what all's got down in there you know pack rat piss or what but I, i'm not very hopeful that it's going to turn over because my guess is it'll be locked up so but i pulled this cover off here and i saved the best for you guys so i'm gonna 
wait for you guys and let's see what happens. It's not locked. I mean, there's stuff down in here, yeah. And I feel a belt stuck, but the motor is not locked. Awesome. Cool. Okay, well, that's a good sign. Still got a lot of cleaning out to do. Like I said, I'll have to pull this cover off probably. The top, see, it's full. Because if you ran it for any length of time, it can't get air. It's air-cooled engine, so... And I was worried, you know, because them mice can get up in them mufflers and get into the cylinder. So, uh, all right. <laughs> Whoa, actually, it don't look bad for sitting 20 years. He said 20 years are better. Okay, so the story, well, I'll get to the story here in a minute. Uh, I did try to put some air in the tires. And only one took air. And that's that one the other front one is off the bead and this one the back ones are just shot but anyway I'm gonna to try to find out what year this is so hang tight and I'll be back with you guys okay guys what I found out was the serial number in the 3000s which is under there the last year that they made them with the serial number in the 3000s was in 1974. This is an electric lift. So, but this engine, the last year that they put this Kohler engine on these particular tractors was 1974. So that's what I'm coming with, coming up with. I think it is a 1974 tractor. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, apparently it used to have tail lights in it and headlights. Now I don't know if they're optional or what. As you can see, there's no headlights in it. But there's a switch over here for something. Okay, there's the lift. Lift up and lift down. So that's pretty cool. That's what would raise that up and down. I'm not sure what this was for. But it's got four forward gears and one reverse. It will run seven and a half miles per hour in fourth gear. This is low here. You flip that over and go over into there. That's your granddaddy low. So, I think, I think I'll be able to get this running, guys, since it's not locked up. I've got an old spark plug, I think, that'll screw down in there. I'm going to fill that back up with some of that stuff and screw that plug in there. And tomorrow, we're going to start taking some of these tins off of here. This got a regular coil, kind of like a car, like an old Chevy coil down in there. In fact, I've used Chevy coils on them. Um, let me see. I don't know if the choke or throttle was, I haven't checked them yet. Here's the throttle. Well, it's moving, but I don't see. There's the choke. I seen the choke moving, so. Um, okay, it's not, it's not froze up, but, yeah, see down in there. Um, so I don't know why this tractor would have been parked. I don't know anything about it, but I do know I'm going to try to get it running. Um, I don't know if I can see a piston moving up and down or not. You know, could could have blew an engine. I don't know. So, all right, let me do some more looking on this thing, and I'll be back with you. Okay, guys. So pulled the tank out. There's about four thousand red and black ants in there, and I don't mean like one set was red and one set was black. They were black ant with a red back, red tail end on him. 
So I think I can get to that right there and try to crank this over. Right there is a valve, and I believe down in that hole there's a sticky valve. Um, let's see here. Let's see. Oh. Yeah, I don't see that valve moving up and down. It's not that big of an issue. I think. If I keep spraying it down, you know, it may loosen itself up. I don't know. Uh, and the reason why I think it's sticky is because I already tucked my screwdriver down in here once and popped it like that. So it could be a broken valve spring. Bit, but I don't know. Oh crap, you guys can't see nothing. Can you? How long you been like that? <laughs> Great, I got oil all over the screen. Let me get you guys. There we go. Let me all right. Let me get you guys cleaned off here and we'll uh we'll finish up for today. Okay guys. Check this out. I can't hold you over the hole, but I did it one more time and it popped, of course. Check this out. All right, that's cool. Now I'm pretty sure this thing won't have any spark. I got a spark plug here, we can test it. I think this is a good plug. Uh, I got the key on, but here's one of the mats. Oh, okay, yeah, the front's red, but anyway. So what we're going to be looking for is spark right down in there. Okay, so, damn, you're blurry again, sorry. No, so I figure it's probably got, it's probably going to need some work on the points. Okay, all right, let me clean you off again. All right, so this is the electric lift. It's not a, it's not a light switch, so. Yeah, <laughs> works. Oh crap. <laughs> okay, that's probably gonna need a switch. Wait a minute, let's try to arc that. For catching on fire, I want you guys to see it all. There it goes. It's up. All right. Well, I think I'm going to call. I got to clean you guys off again. Hang on. Well, maybe not. Okay, guys. So, anyway, right there. That's, uh, that's what I got till September to get running drag racing. If not, I have to get rid of it. I'm going to have it running tomorrow. I hope. <laughs> Hopefully the points ain't too awful bad. Damn it. Sorry for the piss poor camera work, but a little excited. Uh, oh, Brian Patton asked me about the Corvette, why her dad stopped driving it. Uh, the reason was... Um, I don't know if I ever mentioned it, but he had overheating issues. Well, I know he put, I know he put at least one new head on it, driver's side. Um, and I know he put a, a new cam, he went with a little bigger cam in it. Knowing him, probably a lot bigger, because I got the original cam in the garage. Um, and then as he was putting it back together, so I'm figuring, you know, they probably cracked the head, it was an aluminum head. That's aluminum heads on that thing. So I figure it probably cracked the head or warped the head. But anyway, he he had the heads off of it. I can't get you guys right. So there you go. And uh, like I said, he took it all apart. He was in the process of putting it back together. And 
uh, that's when he started getting sick. He tried to have his grandson, Laura's son, he knows nothing about that stuff, <laughs> tried to have him help him and it never got done. So I kind of got stuck doing it. I did have it running that one time in their garage. That's before it's, like I said, it would start, start up and run, but it had a vacuum leak. It was clear it had a vacuum leak. It was kind of idling. It was idling almost two grand. Um, so anyway we towed it out here and it's never started since so I think problem could be with the vats it might have thought we was trying to steal it I don't know that vat system in those years sucked but anyway that's the story on the vet so I got some parts coming Thursday they were supposed to be here tomorrow but they'll be here Thursday new distributor and I've got some uh, things coming for the uh to bypass the vat system we're going to do all that but tomorrow hopefully i'll have that john deere running so that's pretty cool uh farmer supply michigan hmm it's pretty wild this thing came from michigan um but i got it sounds like it's got compression now i stuck that plug in it and cranked it over to see and it sure sounds like it's got a lot of comp compression maybe not a lot lot but you know it sounds like it's got compression enough to run it i'm not going to run a compression test on it um so tomorrow we'll pull that pan off of there that side cover and we'll get the flywheel off and we'll check the points and um i would say that's why i don't have spark could be the coil you know uh but if it is those are cheap so anyway guys thanks for watching i appreciate it stay tuned for more videos on this thing so i'll have one up tomorrow probably hopefully it'll be running um you know if i can get it running tomorrow i know it's going to be able to drag race before september so <laughs> all right guys thanks for joining me appreciate it. shea bear the myth man legend gone for now y'all enjoy the rest of your week be safe and we'll see you in the next one bye bye guys take care I hope you're seeing this. What are you doing? Check me out. Look at this. Are you kidding me? I hope the ring picked that up. So I turned around, he was getting up there. Holy shit.